All right, tubes. We're going to uh, try and, well, actually, Rachel's going to try and throw this thing together. I'm going to try and help him just from what memory I had of taking it apart. But right now, he's just got a, a bunch of parts in the box and stuff like that. And he's, he's reading on how to time it. Only because this, uh, these cranks back then didn't have timing marks on them. But there's instructions on how to do it. You know, you have to learn, you have to line certain shit up with other shit. And, and then you're good to go. So uh, we're going to start throwing this together. I already put some little bullshit parts on, saving a little time, but basically, you know, I got to put the head together and put the PVC valve on it and stuff like that, but the real stuff, the real stuff's got to be done now. So uh, we'll keep you up to date on this one. All right, how you making out of here, buddy? Pretty good. You got here your uh, peppers for your pizza? Yeah, my peppers. We don't need them. What are you doing? What are you doing with them? I was going to put them in your gas tank. Ah. How are you making out of here? Would you figure out what's going on? Yeah, I was just timing it. All right, let me get the light on here. It's not easy because you got the cam back there. Right. And then the crankshaft sits inside of it. Right. So basically, you just spin this until you feel that rod start to go up. Right. And then that's where you want to you kind of set your, your crankshaft. It says 10 degrees. Right about there and that's that's about where it starts to lift you can see my finger in the back right and I said something about a hole what hole are you talking about Did you see that the hole in the book yeah I'm talking about this hole oh where the rod goes in oh, okay so basically when when your piston starts coming up your push rods open you let out the exhaust gases okay it would be a lot easier if they marked it wouldn't it yeah all right a dot or something anything it can help us out a little bit and you don't have the piston hooked up yet, so you don't know if it's top dead center, you're gonna buy the valves then. Right. Push rod, I should call it. Push rod. Alright. Continue on, buddy. How are we making it out of here, buddy? Well, I got the connection rod connected. Turn it up there, I wanna show, show him something. Which way? This way, turn your frank shift. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but most, most of the engines have slingers on them, and this one doesn't, because they have this, this oil pump that's run by the Where's it run by? It's run by the cam. The cam, right, that uh, copper the, gold the pin thing. that goes right here. Oh, the okay. pin you have in your hand goes there. All right. There we go. All right, the pin goes in there. The pin goes in there, and then when it, and when then, it spins, right. this goes up and down. It pushes this. And then the wheel comes squirting out the yeah. middle there. You fill this with oil. It sucks it's up sunk. in there. It's sunk. Yeah, so that's why I don't have a slinger. It just squirts up in there. Yep. All right. Continue, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, what are you doing now, buddy? I'm going to put this oil pump in there. Well, I've seen you messing with this uh, flywheel over here. Are you having trouble, right? Yeah, it was tight. What was it hitting? It's actually hitting the, uh, the plate, the backing plate, okay. maybe a little bit of the armature. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of stuff you run into when you you got a bunch of bastard parts and you're trying to make them all fit. So what he thinks he has to do, he's going to have to finesse the end here with a file so it, uh, it doesn't rub. Did you see what it was rubbing in here? I see some shine. Okay. So you want to put the base on now, right? So you have a, a level playing field? Yeah. All right. Let me give you a hand. Uh, what are you doing over here now, buddy? Well, I put some uh, scribe fluid on or some dike cam. Dike cam, yeah. So that way when I put the flywheel on or shake it around, I can see exactly where it's hitting. I'm pretty sure it's hitting on the backing plate. And maybe huh. a couple spots on the armature. Okay. Yeah, it's routine. Yeah, it, it, the pot metal stretches and it breaks, so it's yeah. not. Well, actually, I wouldn't be surprised straight. that and maybe this it was bent, you know, from somebody taking it off. Yeah, this could have been bent too. The armatures. Yeah. Okay. How's it looking, buddy? Well, I got it close. So I think it's still hitting in a couple spots, but it's spinning at least, right? Yeah. We can get it to pass it right now. Yeah. I got dicom fluid on there, so it should be marking where it's rubbing. What should, uh, Does it feel like it's rubbing or is it just the mind is holding? I don't know. I think it feels like it's rubbing. Slightly. You'll see, when you take it off, you'll see. But yeah, we got it spinning. If we had something to spin it, we could uh, probably easy, check Easy, easy. It might start. Probably check for spark if we had something to spin it with. Hmm. That's right. You better watch where that thing is swinging here. 
Yeah, he wants to Alright, Richard's got the flywheel off. I don't know if you can see the shiny parts up there. That's where it's rubbing, so you just gotta clean it up a little bit with a file. How about the bottom? Can you see the bottom? Yeah. The bottom's actually not too bad. Oh yeah. A little, on the one little end tiny here. spot right in the front. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, we didn't oh, oh 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 excuse me, buddy. Yeah, we didn't get, we got one tiny little spot that has a, a rub that we got to fix, but the uh, racer's got to go home and he want, we want to see if the, the magneto works, so he's going to, or the coil. We never, we never tested this coil that Mike made, so he's going to put it up there. All right, I'm holding it with the, my rubber glove here. See it? Let me zoom in. Road King got one of them spark plugs that, uh... You gotta touch the thing here. Oh, do I? Oh, here you go, okay. See it? Hmm. You can see the, actually see the plug lighting up. Hmm. Go turn the light out, buddy. Alright, this is one of them uh, plugs that has uh, the glow on the inside there. Alright. Should've gave you a flashlight. <laughs> I'm almost back. Oh wow, look at it. There it goes, buddy. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I can see the, the plug lighting up plus the the thing. And he's only spinning that with his hand, you know. I mean he's not he don't have a rope on it or nothing. So uh, that's pretty good. Alright. Yeah, me too. Turn the light back on. Alright, there you go. Alright, so Mike did a great job on that uh, coil there. It's hot. That was, a, that was a big that was a hot spark too. Yeah. I got my big lineman gloves on here, <laughs> so I didn't get shocked. You want to get lit up by that. All right. Race has got to go home now. It's getting late. What is it? Almost 9 o'clock. Oh, wait. Clock's right here. What am I looking at? Yeah, 9 o'clock. He's got to get up early, so uh, he's got to go. Yeah, we ran into other, other problems. We thought we'd have this thing running tonight, but uh, with the, the mag not, not matching up to the, the coil and all that stuff. That's uh, what's to be expected when you get these uh, boxes of parts. All right, so uh, maybe maybe next week. I don't know what I'm doing next week, but uh, oh yeah, you got get just a little bit of a little bit of rub, a little bit of rub, but not much. Uh, maybe I, I can take care of that while you're going. Probably on the bottom there. In the yeah, corner. right in the corner. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah. It's good All right, well, spark, yeah. Though. yeah, that's that's a, a big accomplishment there. At least we know we can continue on. Yeah. All right. And we got to rewind it. Yeah, right. Good old Mike. All right. See you guys later. See you, tubes.